Hello again. Today we are start our next topic binary codes. First, we will start with the numeric codes. Binary codes are in general classified into numeric codes used to represent numeric information on the numbers, alphanumeric codes used to represent alphanumeric information, letters of the alphabet, semantics, and wide variety of special characters. First, we should answer the following question. What is the least number of bits required to code any decimal digit? As you know, we have 10 decimal digits, 0, 2, 9, 10 decimal digits. You know that if we have any bits in binary, binary digits in bits, we can encode 2 to the power n different states. Now, if we have capital N states, what is the number of bits required to encode each of these states? It's obvious that this number equals to log 2 of n. And we should take the ceiling because we cannot use, for example, 3 and half or uh, 4 and 0.2 bits. We have to use integer number of bits. Now, applying this formula to our decimal digits, then we need log 2 of 10. And we take the ceiling. This number without the ceiling is equal to 3. 3.2 and if we take the ceiling it's equal to 4. To encode any decimal digit we need 4 binary bits at least. Now you know that using 4 binary bits we can encode 16 different states. This means that we can code decimal digits in binary in different ways and the number of ways is equal to combination 16 of 10 which is about 8000 and something. The other thing that when from these 16 states we use 10 in each encoding scheme there will, will be six unused code combinations. Next, we move to the most common used numeric codes. These are the decimal digits. The most common code is 8421 or BCD and it's a, the natural code because the code was 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 or 1, 1. 491001, uh, which means that the code is equal to the binary number but using four bits because it's a code not a number. It is a weighted code. If we take, for example, the code for pi, which is uh, 0101, if we multiply 1 by 2 to the power 0, which is 1, and 0 by 2 to the power 1 and this by 2 to the power 2 and the sum will be 5. So codes are classified into weighted codes and unweighted codes. In weighted codes, if we multiply each digit by the corresponding weight and then sum these products, we obtain the decimal uh, equivalent of that digit. 8421 is sequential code as well because the difference between any code uh, neighbor or adjacent neighbor uh, code combinations is only one. 
For example, the code for one is greater than the code for zero only by one, and for two greater than by the code for one by one, etc. Next, we move to another code, also weighted to four to one code. To its weighted code, since the code, for example, for zero is zero, for one zero. Zero zero one and for two for one for two zero zero one zero for example for five here one zero one one there is a reason we did not uh, take for what plus one I will explain that later. Uh, so two for two one code is weighted code, and as you see, it is uh, not sequential code. For example, the code for four is zero one zero zero, but for five is one zero one one. But it is reflective code. What we mean by reflective? If you take the code for zero in two four two one code, it is zero 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 zero. The R minus ones complement from zero minus complement is nine. The code for nine is all ones. Now, what's the relationship between these two codes? As you can see, they are ones complement of each other. If this sold for all the code combinations, then the code is called reflective. You can see the code, for example, for one, zero, 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 one. And the minus complement of one is eight. The code for eight is one, 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 zero which is the ones complement of the code for one. And uh, this uh, applies to two and three and all other. So two for two one is reflective code. Weighted, not sequential. Next, we move to eight for minus two minus one code. You see some of the weights here are negative. If any of the weights is negative, then the code is uh, called negative weighted code. So 8, 4, 2, 1, 2, 4, 2, 1 are positive weighted codes, where 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1 is negative weighted code. Weighted because, for example, again, the uh, code for 5 in, uh, in 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1, uh, is one zero one one. If you multiply the bits by the corresponding weight, this is minus one and this is minus two. This is zero, this is eight. Now, if you sum these values, you will see five. Or Vice versa, for example, if I want to uh, find the code for 6 in 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1. What is 6? It is 8 minus 2. So here we have 1 and here 1 and the remaining bits we have zeros. For example, 7, 8 minus 1. Here we have 1, here 1 and n. 9, it is 8 8 plus 4 minus 2 minus 1 or 1, etc. etc. So 8, 4, 2, minus 2 minus 1 weighted, negative weighted code and uh, not sequential as you see, but it is reflective. You see the code for 0 and for 1 and etc. So 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1 is a reflective code as well. Next, we move to another code, uh, X3 code, 
access record is obtained uh, if we take the BCD or 8 or 2 one point from any digit and add it up to a 3 which is 1 1 then we we have the corresponding x3 code so the code for 0 is 0 0 1 1 for 1 0 1 0 0 etc for example the code for 7 uh, we can write the BCD code and add 3 0 1 0 1 this is the code for 7 N X is 3 code and here in uh, BCD or 8 or 2 1 code X is 3 is a sequential code unweighted you cannot find any weights uh, that can uh, make the code weight uh, unweighted uh, sequential and it is reflective and this is one advantage of X3 code over uh, BCD uh, and there are some uses of X3 code because of this reflection it's so it is reflective reflective There are a lot of other codes, but these are the most common used uh, numeric codes. I'd like uh, to show you the difference between the code and the number. For example, suppose we have uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. If we are considering this as a binary number, then it is 2 to the power 0, which is uh, 1, 2 to the power uh, 1, 2, 4, 3, and 2 to the power 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, which is 16. So uh, this is 21 in decimal. If we are if we are considering this these bits as a binary number, but if they are uh, in BCD, for example. This is 5, this 1, and this is And for example, in uh, any other code, in 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1, uh, here we have 4, minus 1, which is 3. And here minus one, so this does not exist in uh, eight. Four minus two minus one. I uh, told you earlier that in each code we have six code combinations unused. Uh, in, for example, BCD, in BCD, uh, or eight four two one code, they are from one zero one zero. 1011, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1, 1. These are, remember, unused. But uh, in 8421. But, uh, for example, in X3, the unused are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0. And the code for 9 is 12, so we start 1, 1, 0, 1, 
1110111. These are the unspoken combinations in X3. And knowing this will help you in the future in designing the circuit because you cannot you, uh, you can use these unused code combinations as do not care, do not care conditions. Next, we move to gray code. A gray code represent, represents numbers using a binary coding scheme that groups a sequence of bits so that only one bit in the group, in the group changes from the number before and after. Uh, this is the binary code, this is the gray code. Do you see the gray code for 0 and 1? They differ only in one position, this position. This 0 and 1. They differ only on this position. Let's take, for example, the uh, code, this 2, 0, 1, 1, 1, and the next code, 0, 1, 0, 1. They differ only on one position. And uh, if you take uh, the next, 0, 1, 0, 0. These two, these two, differ only on uh, this position. It's so there are several applications for a gray code, and it is uh, sometimes called unit distance code. Unit distance code, because uh, uh, there is a change only in one state uh, for uh, the above or before and after the uh, code for the digit. So classification of binary codes, weighted codes like 8421 code, 84 minus 2 minus 1, 2421. But remember 84 minus 2 minus 1 is also called negative weighted code. Non-weighted code codes like X3 gray code. Reflective codes like 2421 X3 uh, 5211 code. Sequential codes like 8421 or X3 code. Uh, in the next lecture we will move to alphanumeric codes and error correction and detection codes. For now, thank you.